Hi guys, I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I stamp my letters on my cupcake board. So I've got a 12 inch cupcake board and I've just covered this with red fondant. You can check out my other video to see how I did that. So I'm going to be using two stamps. Um, one of them is going to be this one, uh, Fun Fonts by PME. And I'm also going to be using this frosting set by Sweet Stamp as well. So I've already took my letters out and I've placed them ready for me to stamp. Okay, so you you want to do this soon as you've covered your board because you don't want it to dry too much. If it dries too much and then you start stamping, it will crack it and make cracks on your board and you don't want that. So it's still not quite soft. It was only a few minutes ago that I did that. So I'm going to start off with happy birthday. Got a happy, and we put seventeenth. I'm going to add a little th later with my different font. I'm just going to start from the middle and just see where this ends. So, just placing them on for the time being. They won't leave a mark because, and even if they do, I will smooth it over with one of these. So, don't worry too much about that. Okay. I'm just pressing, I'm just putting these anywhere for the time being. Just want to see where. It's going to end on where I need to move it a little bit more but to this way. just need to know where to start. So I'm going to start here. Because I've got my, half, my TH there as well, aren't I? I'm just going to place these over here back in the, the correct order so that I can pick them up quick. Okay, so here we go. Let's move it a bit, a bit higher. Let's get rid of the marks before we begin. There you go, look, all the marks have disappeared. I don't know if you could see the marks in the first place, but I could. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. The thing with these PME fonts is it's very hit and miss it's, if it's going to be a straight line or not. And the thing I like about my sweet stamp ones is I can. What I normally do is I can use this or something just to push the letters like this so they're all in a straight line. But with these, I can't really do that, so I have to literally just guess and pray that it's going to be straight. If it does go wrong, it's fine. You can just smooth it over again. So if you get your rolling pin, roll it all over again. It does uh, make all the letters disappear. And then you can just try again. So we've got a happy 17th birthday. And now I'm going to start using my sweet stamp letters. So you can see these are going to be a lot easier to use so I literally just place them all down and then I'm just going to push them in and then lift.
and this is a very slow process getting them all the letters straight because once I've stamped them and they're bent I'd have to start all over again so to my best so what do I what I do is when I've got them aligned I just press this down you can use anything else it's fine and then just push them in and then lift off Okay, so you see how you can see all these bumps forming from where my hands are going? If I just press this, it gets rid of all the bumps. And what you can do is you're also smoothing this bit out because there's some bumps here. There you go. Do my best. I think the T's a little bit bent. Where's my T gone? I'm just going to put it back in and then turn it slightly this way. Okay, do my best. You won't be able to see the little indents in there when I paint it over. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the next bit which is brother. Don't worry about that marker, I'll get, I'll get rid of that. Oh, yeah, there's your. <laughs> Sometimes I wish they had two letters of everything. It's just a lot easier then. So I'm going to centre this a little bit. Move it down a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to write his name, which is Aman, I think. And for that, I'm going to be using another sweet stamp. So that's this one is called Candy. So it's a little bit bigger, so I wanted to emphasize the name. And we'll place these just here. So I'm going to move this along a little bit because if you've noticed, there is less space on that side compared to that side but that's because I was going to place something here so this bit here is going to have uh, either a, a t-shirt because um, this is going to be a football themed cupcake platter so either a t-shirt or maybe a football and a boot or something so I'm going to move these along because I want this to be in the center with that there so that's going to go right up to there -ish. and then it'll be in the center there's still a few dots there that I want to get rid of
that A needs to be a little bit higher. I'm wondering if I just should move this over there and then keep that space for my Man United themed. What do you think? I should have just done this live and I could ask your opinion. So if I move them across here, it's all centered for this place and then I can put my thing there. Yeah, I think let's do that so then, yeah, let's do it like this. Go, just press them in and lift. Okay. Right, that's that done. So now I'm going to paint these in gold and put something that's going to go from there to there and up to here that way and then that's my board ready ready for some cupcakes to be placed all around and it's the man united theme so i'm going to add some white and red and that's it okay you're all done hope you enjoyed watching that all sorry got my th i will add that in but when you see the final product and then i can show you okay